Hi, welcome back to Colf KRC. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that notification bell and hit that like button. Hi, welcome back to Colf KRC. So, on the desk are my favourite products of the last six months. I don't know how many, I haven't counted them. There could actually be more than this, because the last six months I think has been quite great. There's stuff on here that sh maybe should be on here that I haven't put on. But you can't just fill your table and just keep going forever. So, let's go through why these things are on here and why I think they're fantastic. So, one of the things that's on here you're probably going to look at and go, what is that there? So, we'll start with this. This is a power reg. So, I bought this for 350 quid. I took a punt on it. Why is it on it? It's on here because it's fun and it's different and it's innovative. It, it's two year old. And I know people because I've got one that don't fly well. This thing flies fantastically well. Yes, you don't know which way around it is, but if you can, when you've been flying the bit, you don't need to know that because you know instinctively which way you're pushing those sticks. Or you, sh you probably will do if you've been flying any length of time. And that's why it's on here. I absolutely love the thing. I'm going to do far more videos coming up with this. I've got a video with the wand coming up, which will be fantastic. Um, a bit of fun. Because this is what the hobby... Sometimes we forget what, how much fun this hobby should be. It's a hobby, it's not a job, it's not anything, it's supposed to be something you do to relax at a weekend or after work or whenever that's fun and that's why I've put this on here. The second thing I've got on here are these. I mean, I, now I don't know if you've actually seen me review these yet, I have done the review, but I don't know if I put it up by the time you watch this because I'm so far out of order with stuff. These are the Sky Zone 03Os, so these are the OLED version, you've probably seen loads of reviews on these. These are absolutely phenomenal. These are absolutely fantastic price-wise. The HDO2 has come out and I believe they've got better screens. This has certainly got better screens than the HDO1. And I believe that's now got better screens. However, price point. You look at the price point of these things. These things are about 330 quid. It's just expensive. I'm not saying it's not expensive. Please don't think that for one minute. I'm being dismissive of the price because they're not very expensive. And one of the other products forced me to get these kind of. So... These are fantastic, they come in a variety of colours and I really do recommend this. Remember this isn't a review, I'm just going to fl fly through the thing. So, this is the GEP RC Cine style. So, it's firstly the 3 inch Signet with a 4K camera stuck on the front. It flies oh, unbelievably well. It's a really nice flyer. It's definitely the nicest camera drone I think on the market. You know, these type of rigs, Cine style ones. I don't think there's anything better than this. I don't think anything can beat it. I think it's amazing. Everything about this is good. The build quality is fantastic. The fit and finish. The camera is obviously good. It's a Tarsier. It's not a Mark II on this. which V2, which is surprising because it came out after the V2. But it's a V1. It's still fantastic. The only major difference is you, do, you get a narrower field of view than you do on the V2. But still a fantastic piece of kit. Flies superb, I highly recommend this thing. Again, it's not cheap, I'm not saying it is, it's an expensive model, I'm not sure what it is now, uh, say 220 quid, something like that, maybe a bit less now, but it's a really nice model. So if you've seen the review on this, this is the Eashin Diatone R349, and like I said in the video, thankfully Eashin wrecked what was a brilliant drone. All they did to it was put some lights on the top and they changed the VTX, which on mine went lasted about two flights. Not even that, I don't think. Um, it had the TBS on there. I've actually had three of them now fail on me, so I couldn't recommend the TBS VTXs. Um, it's got the Mamba 1408 motors, which are absolutely superb little motors. This I I never get the I'm never going to get the potential out of this, but if you are interested in one of these, Andy RC did a video on it. Forget just put in R349. Forget the fact it's a diatone on the top, and watch the speed he got out of this thing on a 4S battery. They do an R369, which is a 6S version. Uh, I'd still recommend the 4S one. 4S batteries are cheaper, and you've probably already got some about. 6S is expensive. We've got quite a few 6S uh, quads now, and they're not cheap on batteries. So, highly recommend this. Like I say, if you want to see what it can do, watch Andy Asley's video. Okay, so this is a bit of a no-brainer. So, this is the Mavic 2 Pro. So, I had the Mavic 2 Zoom, I, I, and I've done a video on this. That's definitely been up. And I bought this because I'd sold some of the other stuff. I sold some drones off. And I sold some drones off mainly because I just wanted to 
um, throw everything into FPV, which I've done. I still will buy camera drones, but I'm going to be very selective on which ones I buy. Certainly, I'll be looking for budget camera drones next year that can compete with Xeno and stuff like that. That's what I'm going to be looking for next year. This is the best consumer drone on the market, in my opinion, and uh, I think a lot of people agree with me. The Skydio has come out, and I do fancy a Skydio a lot. The Skydio is only coming out in America at the minute, and it looks amazing. But some of the features of the Skydio I won't hardly use, so I'll probably have a go with the tracking function for a couple of times, and then I just want to fly it as a camera drone. I would prepare to wager. I could be proved wrong, and if I am, you can let me know in the comments in months to come when that thing comes out. I still think this will be the better camera drone. If you want a camera drone to fly, this is going to be better than Skydio, in my opinion. In my opinion, remember only. The one inch sensor on this thing is absolutely amazing with the Hasselblad lens. Now, I definitely know you haven't seen this. I've had this a few months now. This is the Nazgul 5 from iFlight. So, this came out, I've got the action. This is for the, the mount that's on here is for the Osmo Action, which also could have been on here because I bought that with, no, I probably didn't buy that on the Asics one, probably bought that one a ago. So, this is the Osmo, it comes with a Cadix camera on it, it runs on 6S and it's got some beautiful motors. The best thing about this quad is the fact it's price point. I think I paid 138 when it came out. 138 for a bind and fly because it came with the receiver, the receiver's tucked inside here. You, there is a review coming up on this, and I'm sorry that you're going to see stuff that's not reviewed, it's because I've got so far behind, I've got so much to review that I haven't actually, and so many videos I want to make, and the weather in the UK, as you probably know, has been abysmal for now a month or two, that I haven't got this video up, but it's exceptionally good. This thing is superb, it flies fantastically well, it's just a great absolutely great quad and if you're looking at buying a five inch i don't think you can look any you shouldn't at a bind and fly just buy one of these or buy the 4s version they're the same price um i have the 6s batteries and like i said earlier this has got 1800 kv motors on this one so if you buy the 6s i wouldn't really run it on the 4 if you want the 4s buy the 4s version if you've not got 6s batteries you've got 6s batteries buy one of these because it's ace and the last thing So these are the DJI FPV goggles, love them or hate them, these things are probably here to stay now. So I did a video, an initial video, I think I've not done an actual, an initial video on these and I have never done a follow up video on them. So these are amazing, let's just cut, these things are amazing, the video you see in your eyes when you're flying cannot be beaten. I've seen Frostbite videos in, and I've seen them in really high resolution and these things are going to be better. I'm not saying the Frostbite isn't better on range because it will be. I am probably going to get a Frostbite because frostbite I believe I can plug them in to my OLED Sky Zones. I believe that's the case. I'll just have to do some more checking on that. If you know in the comments please let me know. Can I put, can I run these on the OLEDs? The Frostbite, is it compatible or is it compatible with Fat Shark? The videos seem to be a bit vague and the videos, a lot of videos I've watched are obviously Fat Shark Lovers. Um, and it does look a decent thing but it's not this. So this is an all-in-one package. These are not too heavy on your head, they're quite comfortable. Get a bit of light leakage but it's so, you, as soon as you start flying you do not notice it. It runs on a variety of batteries, it comes with the cable. The IPD adjustment's great and I can get an absolutely pinch out picture on this thing. And the reason this is the game changer is simply because of what it can do. Because it's the view, if it didn't even record to the goggles I wouldn't be bothered. It's because when you're flying it looks that good. The added advantage of course you can put an SD card into this thing and the SD card's going to record back the same footage you see so your footage looks amazing. There isn't that much difference between the video footage in here and the video footage from the air unit. That's how good it is. So I, I highly recommend these. The issue that everybody probably goes on about is there's no OSD display, so all you've got is your battery voltage on your screen. I believe DJI working on a firmware update to overlay the beta flight footage on top of there. Now here's the strange thing, I probably won't bother because I don't really want to have it in with Because the great thing about these is there's nothing going on in your display. So I don't know if I'd want all that mess up. I'd probably just have my battery voltage, voltage per and milliamp hours drawn. That's all I'd probably have. I don't want to track on my battery anyway. So if I wanted to put something on, obviously the big advantage if I wanted to put something with a GPS on, I'd then need the overlay. 
So that's coming, I believe, very shortly. So we'll wait and see when that does. And I'll probably do a video on that when it comes out to show you how to do it and what it's going to look like. So these are my favourite products over the last six months. Now, whether you agree with that or not, let me know in the comments. Oh, sorry, I've missed a product. So I apologise because it's on here. Believe it or not, this is one of my favourite products of the last six months because now this is totally just for me. When you're building, I build a lot of quads as you're probably going to see if you haven't seen on the channel there's a lot coming up. I build a lot of quads. This thing's amazing because I can just build up and set my camera up on here. I can do everything. I can set everything up from this little screen so I can set up smart audio. I can go through my smart audio settings on here by simply using this little screen. I think it's fantastic. They come in about 40 odd quid. If you don't know what this is, if you've done a video on it, there'll be a video link in the description. It's for the Eosheen. I think it's kind of what it's called, R200D or something like that. Watch, absolutely amazing, and this little clamp. If you watch a video of this, I put the link off from Zingiverse so you can print this off. Superb. So, nearly didn't make it. So, if you agree, do you agree with what I've got on the table? If you don't, let me know in the comments below why you don't like something, please do. If, any, if you want any more information about anything that's on the table, let me know in the comments down below. One thing I'll say before I leave this, I've done it now two, this will be my second one, I've done one earlier in the year. What is my favourite product over the last 12 months? Well, it isn't on this table. It isn't on this table. It, the Jumper T, um, T16, the reason this isn't in this one is because I've already put the T16 in the first one. This is the Pro, and the only difference is, if you didn't know, it's got an internal module now, and I can now have my LNM on the back. And it has Hall Effect gimbals and it has, oh, you get a switch and update the USB board. But the only difference. So, the reason that's not in here is because of that, if you're wondering. So, in the last 12 months, I've done a lot of a lot of videos. I've had a lot of stuff pass through my hands. And this is definitely right up there. But the video, the, sorry, the video, the item that's not on this desk that it would be my best product of the last 12 months is the Hooks and Zeno. I was just thinking, what? So the Hubson Zeno is rated that highly because it made a difference. It changed, or it should have changed, the face of the marketplace. I've got a video on the Hubson Zeno. You've probably seen that already because I think it went up before this one. The Hubson Zeno has been a game changer. I think it has. And at price point, I don't think it's unbeatable. 4K camera that produces good video footage. Let's be fair, it's good video footage, not some of the crap you see off some of the other ones. And I think it's a winner. And that would be my favourite product over the last 12 months. So, thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button. And also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.